In today's video, I am presenting you the light of life, the mystery that reveals itself in different shades and shapes. I needed a background, so I found uh, this great picture. Then I took the pen tool and started to cut the part that I wanted. Now I'm going to create a noise filter to simulate reality much better. So I'm creating a new layer and I'm going to take the paint bucket tool and fill it with black. Then I'm going to filter, use noise, add noise, Gaussian, monochromatic, all the way to the right, hit OK. Then use lighten and go to filter again, blur and blur more and hit it again. Set the opacity to 10%. That will uh, add, as I said, more realism to my image. Behind the main mountain, I added uh, more mountains. To remove the sky, I took the object selection tool, selected the sky and then hit the mask. Behind the mountains, I added a sky. The next step is to color match everything so it looks better together. First thing, I added the same noise filter to the sky and went to color lookup and choose night from day. Took the brush tool and with the black color and the flow set to around 10%, I mask a part of that filter. Now I'm going back to the mountains, I'm adding the same noise filter, then again levels to make them darker, color balance where I have modified the midtones, and exposure, I increase a bit the exposure and the offset, and I made the tip of the mountains uh, brighter. Here on the right side I have added a small tree, and for the atmospherical part I added some fog. Then I'm going to darken up everything uh, using exposure. Now we need to match the colors of uh, this grass with the rest of the image. Of course, levels, then color balance where I'm going to modify the shadows and exposure here on the sides where I'm uh, brighten up that area. Then I found a really interesting brush and I'm going to uh, paint some flowers, some grass here on this area. This is uh, the brush, right click on the screen and rotate a bit uh, this brush to match my angle and I'm just going to paint on this uh, area. Then here on the top we need a tree. I found this uh, really interesting bonsai and I'm going to select it from the background. There are a lot of ways in selecting uh, an object. I'm going to use uh, one of them. So I'm going to select color range and then I'm going to click and remove the colors that I don't want to select them. Then I'm going to hold alt and click on the mask. After that, I'm going to change the leaves from green to uh, blue. So I'm going to add a new hue and saturation layer and I'm going to press colorize and then with the brush tool and the black color, I'm going to deselect the parts that I don't want them to be blue. So I'm just going to follow the same steps, the noise filter and then levels, levels again to make it even darker, color balance where I'm going to modify the shadows, exposure where I increase the exposure only on the sides of the tree. Then I found this uh, falling leaves on uh, Deviant Art website. I'm going to give you the link to this file. I placed them uh, near the tree. I uh, made them darker and with the hue and saturation, I changed their colors. Then I added a mask and mask the leaves that I didn't want to keep. And I went to filter, blur, motion blur, and I added a bit of motion blur. Then I added uh, a cloud. Don't forget to check out uh, this tutorial to see how I add clouds to my images. Now is the time to select the cat from this image. I'm just going to take the object selection tool, select the cat, press the mask, double click on the mask. With the refine edge tool, I'm going to refine the edges. After that, refine hair and decontaminate colors and hit OK. Now on the mask, I changed the brush into a fur brush. Be sure to check out this video to see how I'm using this brush and you can download it also. And with uh, the black color, I'm deselecting again some parts of the fur. I also drew the uh, tiny hair, the mustache of the cat with uh, just a soft uh, round brush. Take the soft round brush, decrease the size to around uh, 1-2%. And I'm just painting around some uh, tiny little hair parts. And now to match the cat with the rest of the colors, I'm following the same steps. Noise filter, levels, again levels to make the cat even darker. 
and exposure to make the right side brighter and I added some uh, uh, rim lights with uh, the linear dodge. I have this complete uh, tutorial where I'm explaining you how I am doing my highlights. Please watch it. It's really important. Here in this part I needed a shadow. So I have painted a shadow on a layer set to multiply. Then for the other character I found this uh, really cool photo. But unfortunately the quality was really low. So um, I had to use it because uh, I really love the pose and basically I did the same things with the noise filter levels even more levels to darken up everything I change uh, the dress color using a layer set to color so uh, just create a new layer set the blending mode to color and take uh, another color if you want uh, something like that you see this is too powerful but uh, this is how I uh, did it here with exposure the same thing I brighten up her right side. If you don't know how to do this, it's really, really easy. You create an exposure adjustment layer and then you increase the exposure as uh, much as you need. And on the mask, you invert the mask and with a soft round brush and the white color, you paint on that area. Then I have painted some rim lights. So underneath the woman, also we need the shadow. So I added a shadow uh, using a layer set to multiply and I have painted with a dark green color and also uh, behind the woman and in front of the cat I have added uh, another type of shadow using multiply but I drew that shadow with this uh, color this dark orange color and now we need to add something where the cat and the woman are looking I found this really really nice uh, flower I cut it from that uh, background and I added it uh, here then I just needed a base for it and because I didn't find anything that uh, was at the desired angle I decided to draw it myself. So here the brush is not important you can use the hard run brush if you want just uh, create a shape. In my case I drew this shape and then press this uh, lock button so I can lock it. Now if I take for example the white color and I paint in this area nothing happens but if I paint here you see it will uh, affect only that area so now my layer is locked and anything that I'm doing it's affecting only the layer not outside the layer all right then I'm going to add the noise filter this will change the texture a lot and we really need it and now I'm going to select again that layer and with the brush tool I'm going to select uh, a green color something like that and I'm going to paint around on the sides of my base All right, and then I added some leaves and then coming back to the flower, the same thing, the noise filter, then levels to make the flower even darker with a layer set to color. I have painted with this blue color and uh, I made uh, the flower bluish on those areas and I really love it. And I also repeated the, the step on the base and uh, tried to match the color. And I also made a bit the leaves purple on some parts. Then. With the layer set to overlay, I have painted only that part of the flower into uh, this color. And then with the layer set to linear dodge and uh, this orange color, I have uh, painted on this part to glow the flower. Then again, with the layer set to color, I have painted with some purple on the sides. Then on a layer set to color dodge, I have painted with white on some parts of the flower. As I said, please follow my highlights and glows tutorial. I explain there step by step how to create this type of rim lights and highlights. Then here on the ground, on the grass, we needed some uh, glow uh, that comes from the plant. So I created a new layer and I have set it to overlay. And then I sampled a color from the flower, this uh, yellow color, and I started to paint on the ground double click on the layer and I'm going to disperse a bit the colors hold alt and drag the right slider a bit to the right now is the time for the camera row filter so press ctrl R, shift and I then right click convert to a smart object then go to filter camera row filter those are the settings that I have used as always you can keep them or use your own settings if you found any value in my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel If you want to master the glows and the highlights, watch this video, it will completely change your game.